Is this even face? <laughs> Looking at me. I don't even know. Okay. So. I don't know if it's. What the, uh, bleh. This is like a story time, but like more like a dream, like a bucket list, like a it needs to happen. Because it needs to happen. There are a couple people in this planet. I really hope this is focused. There's a couple people on this planet that I would love to just get really fucked up with. Um. Just because they're cool people or because I feel like I'd have really, like, in-depth conversations with them if I was really fucked up. But the person I'd like to smoke with, the couple. <coughs> but there's two I think I want to talk about. One is, uh, Jesse Butterfuko. And I feel like she is a lot of fun if I smoked with her. But the main bitch I'm going to be talking about right now, the main bae, is Trisha Paytas. <laughs> I'm just saying, like... <laughs> me, I'm, like, stressing out. I'm like, fuck, I need to smoke her. I need to smoke her. Now where I'm going with this. I want to smoke with Trisha Paytas. Trisha, if you're watching, go and just smoke. Like... I don't know how I'm going to make this happen, but it needs to happen. <laughs> Me. Dropy, are you high? I think my cat's high. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to get into like a story thing. So, a while ago I tweeted back about this whole thing. I had a dream. Hello. I had a dream that... I think I was in, like, Los Angeles or something. I was, like, I, I think I was actually in Beverly Center. Because anytime I do go to California, I always go to Beverly Center because I just assume that Trisha's always there. <laughs> I have, like, a, I always hope she's there, and I hope to meet her there. But she's never there. That's besides the point, though. But in my dream, this was, like, a while back. Huh, that's crooked. <coughs> let me, let me preface this. Let me preface it was a dream, and we were in uh, the Beverly Center. We were just, like, in the parking garage. And I see this, like, pink G-Wagon. And if y'all know Trisha, you know that this bitch has a green, a green, has a pink G-Wagon, right? So I'm just, like, I, I was talking to, like, Dax in my dream. I was like, babe, that's fucking Trisha's fucking car. Like, where the hell is she? <laughs> You know, and like me being like a weirdo, I guess in my dream. Like I would never do this in real per in real person, in real life. I'm too shy. <laughs> but in my dream, I was like waiting for her to come to her car. Like, what? <laughs> like what? And you know, just waiting. And all of a sudden, I see Trisha like walking to her pink her pink G wagon. And I'm over here, like, hella creeping with Dax. I'm like, babe, babe. And, like, in my dream, I'm just like, I'm like, babe, yell her name. Yell her name. Yell her name. Check if it's Trisha. Because I'm just too shy, guys. Whatever. And I and he didn't. He's like, no, it's not her. And I'm like, yes, it is. It's Trisha. And I was like, I was like, Trisha. Didn't look. I was like, Trisha, 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 Sha, Sha, Trisha, Trisha. And like, she wouldn't like turn around. And so then, like, my dream, I like start walking behind her. I'm like, hey, hey, Trisha, Trisha, Trisha. Like, just calling her, right? And she's all like, just walking, walking, like, like, and you can see that she kn she knows I'm there, you know? But she's, like, trying to, like, walk faster to, like, get away from me. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, I freaked her out. <laughs> I'm like, I scared her. All I wanted to do was take a picture with her and smoke with her. And, like, I don't even know what happens after that. After that, it's just, like, 
I like chase her and she like gets really I don't chase her I don't chase her I just walk to her and then she finally gets to her car and I'm like oh my god Trisha and like when I looked in she was like in her car and she's like oh my god hey. you know after she realized who I was and after she, like I'm someone after she realized that I was just trying to like talk to her and like in her in her in her G wagon lol was like uh, Shane and Drew and whatever and Trisha I guess they were hanging out or something and I was like yeah like oh you know I'm from Washington you know I just I, I I come to Los Angeles a couple times a year you know and I always hope to see you and I finally get to meet you whatever. And at this point, I'm like, hey, Dax, Dax, come here. And Dax is already with me, I guess. And I was like, Trisha, do you, do you, do you guys want to, like, smoke a blunt? You know? And then, like, Trisha was, like, looking at Drew and, like, Shane was like, like, should we do it? Should we smoke a blunt? And then Trisha's like, yeah, yeah, sure, I guess. Oh. <laughs> and so then I get in her car and I, like, just get in her car, I'm like, Bitch, I'm bougie as fuck. Started from the bottom now, right here. Like, uh. anyways, so I roll this blunt, and like, we're all just fucking smoking. And that, like, Trish is over here smoking, being hella hot, and we go into like some deep ass conversation. And I was so sad. I was so sad it wasn't real. <laughs> I was like, gosh damn it, god damn it. Why am I not smoking with Trisha? And then I also had a dream that I smoked with Lisa. But, like, she had never smoked before. And, like, I was like, girl, just smoke. Apparently, I don't even know what's going on. I'm cold. And all I want to do is smoke with Trisha. Like, can we talk about it? Is this even working? I don't even know. Can I just show you something that I fucking bought? I just this right here. This is me. You know. <laughs> Ow, it's cold. But I don't know. I don't know why I bought this. I thought it was like hella cute. And I wish I would have gotten another one. Another one. Gruppy, are you alive? I can't. What else? Trisha. Betas. So yeah, I guess this is like my 2016 campaign to smoke with Trisha Betas. Let's hashtag it. Hashtag smoke with Trisha. Smoke with fishy. Oh my god, no. And whatever. And like the song got released. It's called Shut Up by Trisha Paytas. Like, I was listening to the other day, and I was, like, hella fucking stoned. And I was like, oh my fucking god, this song is, like, giving me life right now. And it has, like, this ratchet-ass background. <laughs> I'm living for it, though, but let's listen to it, because it gives me fucking life. I'm fucking stoned. I started this sober, and I'm ending up really fucked up.
What? <laughs> like what?